This is a room here, and welcome back to Coderalize Future Blessings. We are here, back on Van Helsing's point of view. Oh, yeah. Surely this is enough. We've just visited four shops. I do appreciate your concern and effort, but. Huh? No, no, no. <laughs> no quitting, and, uh, quitting won't do at all. Not while you're still moping about. You're not going home till I see those sparkly lights. Um, yes, yes, you too. No need to get it briskly. We're having fun, aren't we? A change of pace. So, you're and hey, wandering here and there, discovering new places, I, for one, am having a grand old time. I cannot deny that, but I don't remember asking for it. Of course not. Then Helsing, you're hardly the type to covet shiny things. That's why we're helping you in the coveting process. Yeah! Wait. Is he buying them things? Instead of him buying stuff? Wow, aren't we the, just the bestest of pals? This is friendship right here. Friends. B blood brothers, even. I have no idea why, but Envy's words just now made my heart ache deep inside. Oh, was the Van Helsing just have like a bromance moment? You got nothing to complain about now, do you? All of this, this whole thing's for you, Van Helsing. What's that supposed to mean? What are you trying to say? I'm not trying to say anything. I'm stating. As long as you're having fun, I'm good with that. My breath hitches upon hearing this, slightly, only ever so slightly. It suddenly strikes me that this entire this entire conversation may be reminding me of... No, something was there at the back of my mind, but I don't want to acknowledge it. I do the best I can to shake my head, head clear. Van Helsing still doesn't want to give himself happiness. That's a problem. Come on now, on to the next shop. MP's command? Demand? And Putin as ever. Of course, taking this out on them wouldn't solve anything, but I'm getting to... What? What are you... Seize that at once! You have no idea what I... I knew this was merely in peace way, but I roughly shirk off his am amiable back clapping. This one sided forcing me to feel better is quickly becoming a serious nuisance. Aww, wait, dude. <laughs> oh, this is kind of cute. I see these two, like, get ruffled up. Well, what do you know? He gets it. What? いつも冷静な番のことだから言わなくても気づくかなと思ってたけど女の子が絡むとダメダメだねお前もYou're the epitome is that how you pronounce the word of cool so I thought you figure it out for yourself sooner or later but when but when a girl's involvedそれさあの子にも同じことが言えるんじゃないの what you said just now don't you think Michiko feels the same is the, the exact same way? What does that mean? It means I think you might be pushing your affection on her. One sided, your words. Wow, so this whole this whole thing was a plan for MP to have this conversation with him? Oh, I highly doubt. I think it just went this way. The pain I feel so sudden and piercing, a knife to, knife to the chest may have been easier. My actions were wrong. Misguided. I only wanted to become someone better for her. Have I become someone worse? 
私はむしろ彼女が望むことをできる限り叶えようと。But she, did she ask for it? <laughs> That can't. All I ever tried to do was give her what she wanted, what she deserved. But did she ask for it? Did she say she wanted these things? Maybe she was fine. You know? Ah, wait, wait. I'm not going to be able to do it. Well, there, slow down. I'm not coming down on you. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I realize I'm talking to extremes, but you do always put her first. I also realize that all you've done until now was the genuine wish to make her happy. I seriously doubt she thinks for a moment you're forcing affection on her. That's. But even so, facts are facts, and she told you that you felt distant and that you made her feel lonely. It's so, so cute that MP calls her princess still. This is our princess we're talking about. She's never asked anything of you, has she? And that makes you want to show her the world, to show her joys she could only dream of when the poison was all she knew. You just want to see her smile, and there's nothing wrong with that. Me, Lupin, Victor, Sani G. We all feel the same about her. I know you're not going to get this right away, so why not cool your heels here with us a bit longer? He taps me tightly on the chest. There was no strength in it at all, but I stumbled half a step backwards. Then. Then what am I supposed to do? I only want to make her smile. I only want to make her happy. It was, is, my sole driving purpose to watch over, protect, and support my beloved Michika. I can't. I won't be able to handle losing anyone else. If this emotion of mine, this inability to suffer loss, is what makes her, it's what's making her sad. I just don't want to hurt her. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> I don't want to cry. Please, don't make me cry. I only wanted to... I know I'm not asking for much. I ask only for one thing. <sighs> I only wanted to have a happy future together, she and I. I barely recognize my own voice as weak and defeated as it sounds. But they were my words. I had said them. I do believe we've just seen the true you, Van Helsing. The true me. What does it mean, the true me? Before I could begin to wrap my mind around this, light footsteps came slapping along the cobblestone towards us. Oh, it's little vampire prince. Uh, Della, Della Curry, don't something. Oh, I thought it was you. And being Lupin, I do declare. It's been a long time. Uh, it's been so long since I've seen any of you lot save in housing. Oh, if it isn't Deli. Well, Deli's been forever. I think you may have grown an inch or two. <laughs> what? Ha ha! Cease this at once! You curse! A real head is not to be pet so. <laughs> I thought you'd, you'd have already left London with other vampires. 
Today's summit ended just after noon. So he must have some sort, some other purpose in the city to remain on its street at this hour. Oh, right, right. You do well to ask. Something truly wonderful has happened. Something wonderful. The Marquess Renfield hosted a tea party. And what's more, he invited us vampires to join each and every one of us. Whoa, all of you? What a fine bloke. Oh, he's so excited. Indeed, we had never truly had a chance to talk outside official meetings. And such a relaxed setting, however, we were able to converse in far more casual fashion. Ah, it was time well spent. Is that so? As the little king spoke so proudly, he seemed to glow with more exuberance and life than I'd ever seen before. Perhaps it was only a trick of the waning sunlight, perhaps I noticed the contrast because of my own black mood. As befuddled as I was, I simply could not be sure. So, Helsing, by the by, Van Helsing, I heard from Marquez Renfield that you haven't been feeling well, par feeling particularly well. That simply will not do. Let us pray the time never comes that you must take action as bodyguard, but you have to be ready. It won't be a problem. Your words sound like not, but lies in that pathetic mumble. <laughs> you seem crushed. I wish I could lay you low this moment. What say you, fancy a duel? Lupin, Impy, is this Freck truly Van Helsing? You want to voice an imposter on me? Oh, it's Abraham Van Helsing, bona fide and in the flesh. He's just a bit out of sorts. Out of sorts, whatever happened? Mm, well, let's say he's having human relationship issues. Oh, oh I see, it's true. Ben Housen never was the most personable chap. <laughs> Hardly what I what I need to hear right now. In any case, human relations, then eh? I'm having rather a tr lot of trouble with them myself. And Helsing, I don't know who troubles you or why, but have you spoken to them? I I haven't talked to her. I must cause commiserate her, but. No, that's false. I'm afraid that by talking to her, I'll only hurt her worse. The possibility that such a future might come terrifies me, so I avoid her. I think I begin to see the gravity of the situation. But discussion is essential. If we cannot accept one another, we can never truly understand one another. Look, look at Della Crook, Della Croix, whatever his name is, this boy's so fucking smart. Communication is key and he knows that. <laughs> I thought very little of humans at first myself, but only through discussion did I meet someone as accepting as the Marquess. This is where we're stopping for today. We are finally getting actual advice. 
<laughs> to help Van Helsing realize that he does need to talk to my girl. Because my girl, she already got great advice from Victor, which is that she also has to be happy. And Van Helsing himself also has to be happy for the relationship to work. Anyway, this is where we're going to end today's episode. Stay beautiful, and I'll see you guys in the next one.